On this edition of SoCal Fly Time, it's all about them weed yeah. guards. Yeah. So we guards, you know, probably one of the or the most important part about a good calico pattern, I think, is the quality of a weed guard. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I tie the weed guards on the fly here in the vise. I have a nice little sculpting pattern. See a nice little weed guard. This is 50 pound hard mason. I'll get into that in about a second, but little shake, rattle and roll for pattern works out really, really nice. So when I say 50 pound hard mason, what it is, is this product here. This is um, mason material is a company and it's a hard mono nylon mason material here so this is uh, basically hard mono uh, this is 50 pound I use 50 pound quite a bit this is going to be in those size 1 aughts 2 aught patterns works really well one thing to note here is these 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 packs these are 10 yard uh, coils this is the best way to buy this material you do not want to buy the quarter pound spools or even the small little spools of this it just has too much memory and makes it really really difficult to work with so that's definitely the best what you want to use and I also use quite a bit of this um, this is 40 pound hard mason and this is works really really well for you know you getting into those size ones and twos of, of clousers but probably the the top the top of the one I use quite the most it's all tangled up a little bit, but this is my um, my 60 pound. No packaging here, but this is 60 pound hard mason. In order to attach that, I use right here Uni Mono Fine Clear Thread. That's definitely what I like to use. Works out really really well for this. And then for you know getting the the product on, I use these things here, which is the CCG. I use my Hydro and I use my Tac Free. I always talk about these two products. This is all I use CCG. Um, products. These are all pretty much these two little tubes work magic on pretty much all these flies. Um, works really great. So I'm going to show just real quick, you know, kind of the, the the different sizes and styles you can get into it. So this is here is a small little little clouser. This is a size uh, uh, size I think it's a size two, and this is just 30 pound right here. So I didn't talk about 30 pound, but this is 30 pound. Works great for this one like this. Um, uh, this works really great for this bay clouser. Throw it in the eel grass and you have no problems you'll get your fly back um, really really good stuff and then you know when you get into you know a little bit bigger size this is going to be a size a one aught um, so this is just a one aught fly this is this is 40 pound uh, again nice little weed guard this is articulated little creature pattern works really really great throwing this guy into the into the kelp and stuff different the calicos like that guy and then when you get into like the you know the big dogs this is going to be you know a, a size Four aught, and then you really can see this is this is a big gnarly sculpin head uh, on this pattern. Um, I like this pattern quite a bit. Works really really well. But you know, one I want to kind of highlight is kind of the the weed guard. This is that sixty pound, really really stiff, protects that hook point really really well, and um, just a difference in basically the style too. Just so you look at my weed guard here, it's nice bent back. It's kind of falling a bit of a shape, bit of a slope. Also, I'm going to show that I tie it from the bottom up. So this is the V here. It's going to come in right from the bottom under the shank. And that's a bit different. And I'll show you my buddy Dwayne's fly. And he has a pattern that he likes to throw for calico. But I'm going to highlight one thing here, which is really not the pattern. But I'm going to highlight how the weed guard is set. So the weed guard on his is set from the top of the shank up, not coming in from the bottom. Hopefully that's, you can see that. So then the top of the shank, then the figure eights. Um, it's a weed guard. It's the way he likes to tie them. Again, I'm going to show you how I like to tie them. The most important part about a calico pattern and about weed guards is you got to have it. You know, whatever style you set on, go ahead and use it. I like this style. For me, I think it looks clean. And that's a big part about my patterns too. I like to make sure they're clean looking in regards to those weed guards. That's the worst thing you want to do is tie a pattern and not be happy with it. So I'm happy with mine. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that and we'll go from there. Thanks. All right, let's go ahead and get this weed guard going. So on the vise here, I have, uh, or in the vise, I have a, um, again, that, that kind of AP sculpin, you know, shake, rattle and roll pattern, uh, buggy and all that good stuff. But we're not talking about patterns. You know, later on, I'll show you how I tie this guy up. But let me just focus a little bit around this, uh, the head of the fly here, which we're going to put this weed guard in. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. Then the first thing I like to do is I'm gonna go ahead and just apply some, this is some uh, Loctite uh, super glue. This is the Ultra Gel Control. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little dab right here in the front of the fly, right there. And then next I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna add in my Fine Clear Mono Thread. And I'm gonna add it, make a nice little base out in front, okay? Nice little base. Something like that. I'm gonna come in, paper towel here, wipe off the excess, and then I'm gonna trim the thread here. And the reason why you do that, you don't wanna put all that glue on your tine scissors. And so next, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use, for this case, I'm gonna use my, my 50 pound, this is my 50 pound hard mason right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just gonna go ahead and just grab a, a nice chunk of it. It's a little too much, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna bend it. I'm gonna create that V. So I'm just bending that, that hard mason. With your fingers is fine. You don't need really a tool for that. Then what I'll do is I'm gonna clip that a little bit off here, make sure they're even, and that's it. One thing to note about when, because these, how these come off the spool is they have a natural slope to it, okay? Take that slope and make sure that slope ends up bending back. So here's the eye, make sure that slope is bending back. And you'll see what I do next. So I'm gonna take this, you know, have it nice and neat. Don't worry about the length right now, just come in from the bottom, okay? I'm coming from the bottom. And don't worry about setting it right now close to the shank. Just set it right now nice and neat. And you're gonna go ahead and just add some, 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 uh, some tying thread right there on the bottom, okay? And now you have a little bit out in front. Now take the points here. You wanna, you wanna grab it and make it and kind of pull it up. What that does, it kind of sets it, it sets your basically your uh, your um, your V right on the bottom. It also here's that nice slope going back. Now if you like, go ahead and just cut off a little bit of there. Okay, so now you're you're starting to see that the weed guard is nice and set. Now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set I'm gonna do some figure eights. And when I say figure eights, what I mean is I'm putting one side in each of the of the uh, of the of the, um, of the V. So you can see here, here's the V. I'm basically put tying one side coming through, and I'm going on each side around. So I'm posting around each, almost like if you're doing a dumbbell eye. You're gonna keep doing that a little bit. Make sure this thing is nice and set, okay? There really is no buildup with this fine clear, so you can do that quite a bit to make sure you're nice, nice and neat. So once you get it nice and locked, take a look at your at your, at your your weed guard and make sure that it's nice and set right there where you want it. You can kind of move a little bit because you haven't put any material or any, any CCG. Make sure it's set right in that V, and I think this is perfect. Then what you can do is you can just add some Thread right in the back, right in front, and then we're gonna do a couple posts. So here's one post there, tight. Another one, do another post. Kind of wrap that around. Try it again, come around and post it. Okay, again, you're just kind of just getting in there, nice and neat, and you're locking in place. Now, I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks great. Go ahead and you can now trim off even more of that material off the top. It's looking good. Next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come in with my hydro. And when if you ever see me tie, I always talk about hydro being sort of my uh, my 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 my, uh, my tack. You know, I'm tacking things together. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tack in right here and put it right in this gap. I'm tacking this all in there. So I'm gonna go in here and just add this. CCG Hydro, right in there, get it all, make sure it's nice and fluid. Jumps into all that, uh, into the center there of the uh, sculpin head. And then go ahead and, and hit that for a second. Looks pretty good. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add in now my CCG Tack Free. This is a little thicker material. And this is really what's gonna set these weed guards on, or this V, V not, V style weed guard. Something like that. The thing you do now is go ahead and hit that. 
And that's it. Your Wii Guard is all set. Don't look at that light there. Make sure you do that. And then come from the bottom. Clip it off. That Wii Guard is set. It's on there. It's nice and tight. It's good to go. No issues, no problems. And you're ready to fish it. So hopefully this helps you guys out when putting Wii Guards together. Um, this is how I like to do it. Again, I like to have that nice slope back. I like to have it nicely set on that on that V um, right there on that hook point. To me, it works really, it's been the best for me. It works really, really well. Any questions, thoughts, concerns, whatever, you know, go ahead and reach out to me on SoCal Fly Time on Facebook and then also on SoCal Fly Time on YouTube. So thanks again. And any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye.